Hi everyone, in this video I will address the ladder function. Before we start the video, please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell to be notified of the videos to come. I'm going to start this modeling in the ground floor. Um, as you can see, I have already activated the, the floor plan and the 3D view. And in the 3D view, we see the description of the room, which is 0015 electrical closet. I want to simulate that we, we don't know where to locate this in the ground floor. We can see a list of all the rooms that comes from, from the IFC building. To do so, we come to the story and we see here a list of all available rooms. And here I find the 0015 electrical closet. And it, it is right now highlighted in, in a floor plan. I can double click this room and I have the button zoom. So now uh, I have identified the room where we're going to start this modeling. In the electrical toolbox, we find the function ladder. So I left click and I'm going to position where I want to start this, this ladder. Um, I will change the start mounting height to 1.5 and I will click OK. And now I move, I move my cursor and as you can see, this is the direction of the ladder, but I want to insert a, a wall mounted um, ladder. So I will open the right mouse click and select rotate 90 degrees. So like this. So I will click on the other corner, go below and I will finish on this corner below. So left click again and press escape. Uh, just to see the result in 3D, I will select the 3D view. So this is what we have created so far. And now I want to insert a T, a T part. I could do, uh, I could insert this accessory or fitting in, in the floor plan or in the 3D. But to see uh, instantly the result, I will select the segment in the 3D view, right mouse click, and I can select this option insert T. Um, I have this T exit option for side, other side and both sides that would create a cross piece. In this case, I will select other side uh, to insert a T with the, the branch uh, in the top. So click OK. I move the T part to, to the segment where I would like to insert and it's there so I can press escape to close the function. And now I will come back to the floor plan again. Uh, we see that the T part was included in the floor plan as well. I will keep this modeling now in the floor plan. Doesn't matter. It could be done in the 3D as well. So I will select the function ladder again. And I will move to, to the ladder. Uh, I will move to the T part. And as you can see, uh, it's highlighted. And there is the text connect to T displayed. For this, for this connection to be recognized, the function use smart snaps must be activated. This function can be, uh, can be found in the bottom left or it can be uh, activated or deactivated with the shortcut number three. So with this, uh, with this function activated, I left click when the, the connection is highlighted and I will click OK. And now I will insert the new mounting height, three meters, click OK, and I will move uh, the, the new ladder segment to the shaft. This is the shaft here. Um, I'm just a small piece, left click, right mouse click to end in the story above. Okay, so I, I will press escape to close the function and let's see the resulting 3D. It's what I have done. 
what I will insert here to finish in this in this floor is an open element. The open element uh, is part of the building mode in working mode. So I will switch here and I will select the, the function open, opening elements. And the opening elements, it will recognize the, the ladder segment mounting height so that it will be automatically inserted um, in this in this spot. So I click to start and I just move to recognize the, the ladder. And as you can see, it already goes to the end of the, of the ladder. So click and I will press escape. If we would like to insert any margin to these opening elements, we can double click and I could insert like 0 0.05 and 0 0.05. And let's go to 3D to see the result. There it is. Now, I don't need this 3D view anymore, so I will maximize the floor plan. And I want to continue this ladder in the floor above. So we see the symbol of the ladder going to the floor above. I selected one time, I will left click again and now I will right mouse click and in the context menu, I have this option of open story and zoom to story port. So DDS CAD automatically will open the floor above and I can instantly uh, start the ladder again in this floor. So I select this symbol, right mouse click and I select the option continue ladder from story below. So in the dialog, I will insert the new multi height 3.2, click. I will leave the shaft, left click to insert a bend, go to the left. Here where I see this corridor, I will left click again to go up. And in the other corridor, left click again, and I will move until the end of the corridor left click again and press escape to finish. And let's see the result in 3D. Do you like this video? Share with your colleague. If you have any questions or suggestions about this video, please put your comment below and we're going to get back to you. Cheers.